right so this is um the 5g mast that has been built i came here when the engineers was uh was preparing it was pointing it up and uh, you can see the massive um mega sized cabinets um and uh, the 4g mast was there and that has now gone so that's a bit of a surprise uh, to me i thought they were going to keep uh, keep hold of that some uh, shit that they uh that they don't want to use uh hope they don't fly tip but i guess they'll be back again uh tomorrow to do some more work on the cabinets we'll take you around a little bit for the 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 Granville. So we'll go around the, the back here. We'll make sure my bike doesn't get stolen. Even here, my bike could get stolen. <laughs> we are in bike theft capital of the world here. You know, uh, I do not trust anyone with my bike. Any of my bikes. <laughs> it's uh, the paranoia that I've got to make sure I've got all the one <laughs> anyway so these 5g masts are uh are really tall i mean that is fucking huge i've got to say that's i mean it's it's like 20 meters it could be more than 20 meters it's bloody huge and i know for a fact that the um the mast itself was not well, so far as i'm aware anyway wasn't well, it smells something really nasty here actually not a very nice smell like an electric, electrical wiry smell. It's not a very nice smell. It might be these actually. It's probably not a good idea to stay here. So I'm going to get myself going. But uh, so that's it anyway. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you can make that out, but there's like a, a sun dog halo. I've got a picture of it actually, so it comes off a bit better. So um, that looks pretty decent. So these guys there, unfortunately, once this starts working, it's not obviously on at the moment, once it starts working, these guys, um, well, the property, there's the value of the, that house there will have shrunk. All of, all the, all the properties here on the avenue, they will have all shrunk because of this 5G mast that to be honest with you I didn't even know anything about I knew I knew they were they were gonna upgrade the uh, 4G mast that used to be there but uh it's gone now and uh and they did upgrade that 4G mast actually because I remember them doing it so uh, all these uh I don't want to look too closely at someone's house, but all these houses here are going to find, the owner's going to find that their houses no, no longer hold the value that they think it uh, it, it is worth um, because of the 5G mast will have reduced the price by a massive margin but the only thing I can say about it is people will have a 2 5G signal uh, now I don't know how far but all down here especially here where we are now there will be a 5G signal but all these guys don't know what's going to hit them soon a lot of people that don't know they might be uh, sensitive to the 5G beams there'll be an awful lot of uh, noise from the cabinets during the night you'll be able to hear it and the radiation levels around here will increase which means some 
Some people will be affected by it. Some people won't. Uh, the signals, um, the TV signals might, I mean, just might have problems uh, with uh, interference. But for one definite, 100% definite, that mast will cause sleepless nights for, I'd say, up to about here. Um, people don't understand what 5G is. They don't understand it until it hits them. And when it hits them, ah, oh God, yeah, I know what it means now. 5G is a nasty, nasty thing. And we've let it in. It's fucking ridiculous. A bit like this stats, uh, the COVID stats, which was all a load of bollocks just to scare the fuck out of everyone. And now that's been true, that's been proven true. So all the conspiracy theorists, which I'm not, but all the conspiracy theorists so far have been right, haven't they? We want to ban these 5G masks. They're fucking evil. And these guys around there will really start to feel it when that fucking thing switches on. Let me tell you. They really will. Take care.